Hey, hey, hey there, everybody! Zelda Savior here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2! In the last episode, we continue to work our way through the Ball Black's kingdom, and along the way, lost our first Pikmin. And by first Pikmin, I mean our first five. Due to explosions, they died in very horrible, gruesome deaths, but we, should, we honored the fallen last time, friends. And to further honor the fallen, we are going to descend to the seventh subfloor and see what horrors lie in the depths of, of... I'm sorry, friends, I just remembered. I just remembered the, uh, the loving faces of those we've lost. But we persevere. We push on to the final floor! Alrighty, friends. Now, we have... Oh, what are you doing, Yellow? Get out of here. You stay with your Yellow friends, Yellow. I want my reds. All five of them. All five of them that have unfortunately been all used to create other types of Pikmin. This is how much I value your life, Reds. All I want you for is to make other types of Pikmin. You are useless to me aside from that. You hear me? Useless! But, you must stay here. Purples. Brute Squad. Come hither. Whoa. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? You see that? What is that? <gasps> it appears something lurks in the depths. And he has a treasure. Now, I will introduce this guy in an unfortunately sad manner because any of you who have played the original Pikmin all the way through will rec recognize these two eyeballs. Now, actually, before I introduce him, I'm going to actually give you guys a chance to see this pretty, his pretty little face. Meet Emperor Ballblax. Yes, Emperor Ballblax was the final boss of the original Pikmin, for anyone who's familiar with that game. So, he, much like any other Ballblax there is, is a giant hulking lump of pure hunger and evil stupidity. So, he will parade around the area and he will proceed to eat your Pikmin with his giant fat tongue. Now, the reason why I'm not attacking him yet is because I want to show you guys the most wonderful way to defeat Emperor Ballblax. I personally favor doing this because I wish to humiliate him on his very first appearance, because he does come back. Now, all you really need to do is take a group of purples, get close enough, and right in between his eyes, right there, right there, Bro, 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 and he goes down before he even finishes his animation. And that is how you defeat Emperor Ballblax in style. My initial report indicates that the giant Ballblax spat out some sort of object. It looks fascinating, but it is it is drenched in that creature's internal juices. Disc. Oh, don't roll your eyes at me. I'll start for you. Damn straight you stole that for me, boy. Don't you roll your eyes at me. I see you I see you're rolling your eyes at me. I'm just your captain. I'll tell you what to do. You don't you don't you don't you don't do what I you just nearly willy do. Okay. Alrighty. White Pikmin, I wish to summon your presence to help us carry back this large automaton. I believe that is a decent enough word for it, um, and I will send some blue Pikmin to help you as well. But, the rest of you, destroy this wall, for there is more to this floor than just the boss area. And if I need blue Pikmin, I will go get them with Louie. But, more importantly, Transformers, it looks like a robot, Forged Courage! This material has perplexing properties. I will try fusing it with your spare spacesuit. Processing complete success. Behold my latest invention, the Scorch Guard. Thanks to the heat-resistant alloy, this suit is now impervious to fire. Yes, thanks to the forged courage, we now, the uh, captains, Louis and Olmar, are now immune to fire. Which is wonderful, because we were getting our butts kicked by it before. Now, when we approach anything fire-related, fire geysers, enemies that spit fire, we will now be immune to such effects. Delightful. But, 
before we start celebrating so soon, we must go and get this treasure right here. Now, I remember when I first played this game, this treasure eluded me to all... To all hell in a handbasket. I don't even know what to say to that. But, unfortunately, I only have five reds with me. This is going to take a little bit of time. I believe. I believe this is the right way to do it. I don't even know. There must be a better way to do this, but I really don't care. Actually, no. You don't want to freaking do this. Is, this, is, this is easy. This is easy. This is scrub work right here, friends. This is scrub work right here. Alrighty. We're gonna... Ugh. Throw these bats up here, and thanks to our brandly new Scorch God, we can run through fire like it is nothing. And there we go. Now, Reds, use your fire might to destroy these guys and to make a way for the Blues to do their thing. Oh no, don't do that. Alrighty, guys. Um, I'm just gonna fast forward through a little bit of this because this is just me using some geysers. I'm gonna just kill the rest of these things and meet you back when the Blue Pikmin are doing their thing. I'll see y'all in a bit. Friends, I am an idiot. I am so stupid. There's a better way to be doing this. Alrighty. Now that I've sufficiently made a fool of myself, come here, blues. This is so much easier than I'm making it. Like, ridiculously. Chill up there. Chill up there. Stay, stay, stay. Now come here. If my knowledge shows me correct, they don't... Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm a freaking idiot. They go around it. God damn it. I am so stupid! I am so dumb, friends. Sometimes I just amaze myself with how dumb I am. <laughs> don't run the breads into the water, Louie. They can't survive. Silly. Silly, Billy. Alrighty. It's gonna take them a long time to carry this thing back, so I, I'm gonna cut... What? No! No! What are you doing? No! 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 I lost another! Ah! You guys are so stupid. You know that? You guys are so goddamn stupid. I mean, that's just me being lazy, too, but yeah, whatever. Once again, like I said, I'm gonna cut to these guys getting the treasure back. I'll reunite with you guys in a minute. Gyroid Bust. I believe this is a reference to some other Nintendo game, but I have no idea what it's from. But not important, we have acquired all the treasures, so now let us escape to the surface. Escape we shall, we've already suffered enough of a beating. Treasure-wise, let's see how well we did, friends. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious? I missed a treasure! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! God dang it, friends. God dang it, friends. We lost six Pikmin and I didn't get all the treasures. Well, this is what happens when you rush. And I will go be and I will be going back in there to collect that last treasure. In fact, well, firstly, 40% of debt recovered. You're almost halfway there. In all honesty, friends, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run myself back in to the Bulbuck Kingdom. I'm going to grab that last treasure. I'll show you guys what it is, and then I'm going to cut back out. So actually, I will meet you all once we claim that last treasure we have missed in the Ball Box Kingdom. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, friends, we've made it to back to the fourth sub-level of the Ball Box Kingdom and found the treasure is located somewhere in this room. I've already cleared out a slight bit of it, so but let us see if we can't find it. Character thing pop out at us. Here. Oh, and there we go, my friends. This actually. There's the treasure, my friends, but what that little creature was right there, that was what was known as the Iridescent Glint Beetle. There is a uh, version of the uh, non-gold version called the Iridescent Flint Beetle, but uh, the Iridescent Glint Beetle is actually, uh, they, they spawn on various floors of the uh, dungeons and they actually hold treasures inside them. And you merely have to hit them with a Pikmin on top and they will release the treasure for you. Simple as one, two, and a three. Crystal King! 
Very beautiful treasure, if I do say so myself. Alrighty. Now that we have acquired that, acquired that particular treasure, I do believe that is it for all the treasures in the Ball Box Kingdom. So I'll just go through, make sure that I didn't miss anything else, and we will meet back up as I leave the dungeon. I'll see you all in a moment. And here we go, friends. We have found the exit and are leaving now. Never to return ever again. There we go! Cave complete! That's what I was going for. Perfect! And Emperor Ballblax even decided to show his ugly mug again, but I taught him a thing or two. So nothing to worry about there. And now we shall re-appear in the Awakening Wood. For the second time after being in the Ballblax Kingdom. With just enough time to hurry up and gather our Pikmin and murder some innocent wildlife. Louis, it's so serene in the Awakening Wood at night, don't you think? Uh, I suppose so, Captain Olimar, but uh, we seem to kill everything that uh, lives on this planet at night. Or, we kill, not at night, but just we seem to kill everything. I know, Louis, isn't it beautiful? The scent of blood as the sun sets. Sure does make me feel like I did a lot today. Captain Olimar, you're one sick piece of garbage. Anyway. Haha! -ha, now that we have actually accomplished something in the day that we have been given time for, let us send. Let us go back to the ship, rest, and see our progress for the day. With all three onions with us, let us analyze today's report. Fun's report! We have acquired every treasure within the Baldox Kingdom in addition to an above ground treasure. Excellent! Now let's look at our Pikmin totals. We gave, we lost, uh, oh wow, we lost 16 reds, uh, we gained 15 yellows, we gained 21 blues, we gained 1 white, we also gained 20 purples. I actually went back, when I went back and got the Crystal King treasure, we acquired another set of purple Pikmin, which has been wonderful for us. Oh, I took a, I took a call from the loan agent, he has the scariest voice I've ever heard. While you two are dawdling about my life, hangs by a thread, get to work, slackers. We are working hard for your benefit president and for no personal gain to us for it is not benefiting us in any way shape or form anyway now that we have completed the ball blacks kingdom there's only one more dungeon within the wickeding wood for us to venture to but where will we go next episode only time will tell in the next episode of let's play pikmin 2 we are going to venture back to any one of the three areas most likely the perplexing pool, but who knows, we might go back to the Valley of Repose, or back to the Awakening Wood to finish things off. We will see in the next episode, my friends. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day.